Hey everybody, what's up? It's Steve with Primary Arms Optics. I want to go over the Autolive battery cap kind of user guide with you today. So, for those of you guys who don't know what the Autolive battery cap is, it is an accessory that fits on a bunch of the scopes out there, namely our SLX Gen 3 and Gen 4s. It fits on some of our uh, competitors' products as well, mostly um, low power variable optics. The big thing that you wanna look for to see if it is compatible, one, you can check our website and it has a list of compatible optics. The other thing is the actual design of the battery housing on your scope. If it looks like this, there's a good chance that it fits, although you have to check the threads to make sure the threads are correct too. Again, like I said, we have a complete list of compatible scopes on our website, so make sure you reference that. Super easy to put on. You're gonna remove the battery cap off of your scope Take the auto live battery cap, ensuring that the outer locking ring is pushed all the way up against the knurled housing. You're going to install that where your scope's battery cap usually goes. Screw it all the way down until it stops. Now, some of the scopes that are out there from some of the other manufacturers might have a little bit of glue in the threads of the uh, rheostat for your power. So kind of work it back and forth a little bit to make sure it's got a good seat. Once it is, you're gonna take your CR2032 battery, put that in with a positive side facing up, and then take your scope's original battery cap and screw that onto the outside of the Autolive battery cap. Now, your Autolive battery cap also comes with a wrench for the locking ring. What the locking ring does is it pushes up against the rheostat for your illumination and locks the whole assembly into place so you don't accidentally unscrewing it as you're adjusting it. It's pretty easy, a little plastic spanner wrench, goes on, give it a twist, lock it, and that is it. It is good to go. So the functionality that this gives you is it allows you to leave the scope in an always on state. Once the scope sits still for about three minutes, the whole thing shuts down. And as soon as it moves, it turns back on. So it's always ready to go when you are. Another cool feature that it gives you is a low battery warning indicator. So if you see a consistent flash or it blinks and then goes solid again, that is letting you know it's about time to swap your battery out. For more information, feel free to hit up our website. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next one.